Your program may collect your preferences to assist them in the placement process for an upcoming placement via wishlist. To check if you need to complete any wishlists, log on to your account and select the View All Coursework button from the New Student Dashboard. You can also click on the upper left-hand hamburger menu and select the Coursework option. If you are using the old Student Dashboard, click on the Coursework option. To switch from the new Student Dashboard to the old Student Dashboard, deactivate the new Dashboard option in the upper right-hand corner of your Dashboard. To switch from the old Student Dashboard to the new Student Dashboard, activate the Switch to New bit. Once you are in the Coursework section, you can easily identify wishlists available to you for any given course by viewing the May Need Attention column. If a wishlist will be opening soon, you'll find a status informing you of the date it will open. If the wishlist has already opened, you will see the date when it closes. To start on one of your course's wishlists, click the View Details button. The system will take you to the Course Activities tab, where you will find the wishlist section. The system will show you the type of wishlist you will need to complete, which can be one or more of the following, my request, location-based, slot-based, slot and location-based, setting-based, location-area-based, questionnaire-based, address-preference-based, and rotation-preference-based. This video will cover the slot-based wishlist. This type of wishlist allows you to select specific slots at the clinical locations that have offered availability to your program for a specific rotation. First, click on the wishlist name. If your program has provided any specific guidelines for you to follow when completing your preferences, those will show up first. After you have read these instructions, click Start. Before you can begin exploring the slots available for your clinical placement, you'll first have to apply some filters. The only required filter is State. If you'd like to view everything available click on the drop-down and select All. If you prefer to look at specific states scroll through the list and pick and choose the states where you'd like to be placed. You can also apply the additional filters for city, zip code, clinical settings, slot types, and slot status if you would like to. Once you are done, go ahead and click apply. Before you begin looking at each of these locations profiles or adding slots to your wishlist make sure to take note of the minimum and the maximum number of slots you are allowed to include on your wishlist. If you'd like to view the instructions your program has provided, you can always access them again by clicking on the View Instructions hyperlink. Each option will show you information related to the clinical site and the details of the slots they have offered your program. You can see here, the city and state, the clinical settings, the rotation dates, the clinical instructor, any requirements, the student to clinical instructor ratio, the number of slots, and the slot status of that clinical location. If you would like to view additional information for each location, click on the location name. A drawer will open showing you any information provided by your program on that specific location. You may be able to view specific information such as their phone number, company website, clinical settings, requirements, specific documents, forms or evaluations that are shared for you to access, notes, and other information if the clinical site has provided such information. Once done, you'll go ahead and close that drawer and make your selections. To add a specific slot to your wishlist, click the Add option. The system will then keep track of how many slots you have added, so you can easily ensure you are meeting the minimum requirements and not going over the maximum. If you realize you've added a slot you do not want on your wishlist, simply click Remove. If you cannot complete your wishlist in one sitting you can always save your progress by clicking on the Save as Draft button. You can then come back to work on it later. If you are ready to move on, click on the Rank Selections tab to move on to the next step. You will then rank your selected slots. Use the double ellipses icon on the left-hand side to drag and drop your selections in your desired order. If you would like to provide a reason for your selection, you can do so in the Reason for Selection text area. If at any point you realize you would like to remove something from your wishlist, click on the trash bin icon. You can also move freely back to the last section to add a new slot if you would like. Once you are done ranking your preferences, you can then move on to the next section. If your program administrator has enabled specific questions they would like you to answer the next step would be to navigate to the questions section. If your program administrator has not uploaded any questions you can move on to the review and submit step. In this section you will see a list of the uploaded questions and text boxes below them for you to provide your answers. Once you are finished, you'll want to move on to the last step which is to review and submit. 
in the Review and Submit section, you can review all of your selected slots, your reasoning for their ranking, and any answers to the specific questions your program has posed. If you need to make any changes, simply click on the tabs of the previous sections to head back and make those changes. You also can upload your CV or cover letter using the Browse to Upload button. Just click on the Browse to Upload button and select the document from your computer. In the Notes section, you can provide some general notes about your wishlist here. Once you submit your wishlist, you will not be able to go back and make changes, so make sure you have made your final decision before you submit. Once you are ready check the box acknowledging that you understand you cannot make any further changes, and then click the Submit button. The system will then confirm if you are sure you'd like to proceed with submitting your wishlist. If you are sure, go ahead and click the OK button to finalize your submission. Once your wishlist is submitted you can continue to view the information you have entered, but it will be in view mode only. If you realize you need to make changes to your wishlist please contact your program to have them unsubmit the wishlist for you to allow you to make edits. Back on the course activities section, you will now see your wishlist has been submitted and the date and timestamp of when that submission was processed. It is also possible to submit a wishlist directly on the new student dashboard. In the Preplacement Tasks section you will find information about the active wishlists assigned to you as well as published slots where you may need to show your interest. Please note that published slots will only be visible if your school has published slots for you to indicate your interest. Click on the View All button to view all preplacement tasks assigned to you. Wishlists will be displayed in sequential order of due dates. Each active wishlist will indicate the course the wishlist is active for, the rotation associated with the wishlist if applicable, and the date that the wishlist is due. Click on the Submit Preferences hyperlink to view and fill out the wishlist. A page will then open for you to submit your preferences. Thank you for watching our How to Complete a Slot Based Wishlist tutorial. Please take the time to check out the other useful XAT Prism tutorials.